Ladies and gentlemen, GQ's agenda setter for 2016 is Stan Grant. Thank you very much. It's, um, it's an honour to be here and collect this, and it's a, I can say an even greater honour to share the stage with my brother, Adam. I spent half of my working life overseas reporting the great stories of our world. I saw the world change before my eyes. I saw the rise of terrorism throughout the Middle East into the secret world of North Korea, the resurgence of China, there's now, by some measurements, the world's biggest economy, the return of populism and nationalism. And I saw division. I saw people who were separated by the chasm of history. And I came back to my country a couple of years ago to be reminded that we still here are divided by our history. And I saw it when it happened to Adam, with the booing of Adam Goods. And I looked on that and I thought, is this us? Is this truly the measure of who we are? And we have to ask ourselves that question in Australia because in Australia today, 10-year-old girls commit suicide. In Australia today, a boy in a hood in a cell reminds us that Indigenous people make up half of all youths in incarceration. We're fewer than 3% of the population and we are a quarter of those behind bars. We die a decade earlier than other Australians. This is happening in our country, in Australian towns, in 2016. And I can't believe that this is who we are. I can't believe that a country as wealthy and as prosperous, as cohesive and as tolerant and as welcoming as Australia is, a country that has given me the capacity to reach for my dreams, I can't believe that that is who we are. You know, we live in a world now where people are retreating to old divisions. We live in a world now that is dominated by the politics of identity. We're seeing this with the election of Donald Trump. We're seeing it with the return of politics on the left and the right. And these are times when we have to ask, do we see ourselves in each other or do we continue to see each other as something else? Barack Obama just today said, we have to stop the us and them. We have to see ourselves in each other. And I think that we have a better chance of doing that in Australia than any other place I've been. Thank you so much, and it's a pleasure to accept this award, and a pleasure to be here with my brother. Um, I must say, um, I work at Channel 7 now, but growing up, you know... It, I was it, Channel 7. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Well, I was going to say, growing up, I noticed, I noted that you were coloured, mm. and I thought, well, now, now I could do that, that's world, normal, brother. yeah. No, that's it. No, that's right, you know, I mean, I, I, I wanted to, to be a journalist, you know, I wanted to be a journalist on my own merit. Yes, it was important that I was an Aboriginal person. It was important that we were out there and we were, we were telling stories to our country, Australia, as people who are coloured people. And we've seen a lot more of that, and I've been proud to be part of it. Yeah. What's inspiring to you about Stan? I think what's inspiring is the, the, the leadership and the ability to, to use the platform that he's been given and the, the skills that he's built up through his life to be able to communicate a message and start conversations with people it's not about challenging people, it's about to have that conversation about are we happy with the way that our communities are going and to be honest from an Indigenous point of view there's a lot not to be happy about but there's a lot of positives that we can focus on as well and that's and that's what we really want to focus on. Focus on the positives. Yes there's a lot of neg negative things happening out in our community but we all need to acknowledge that they're there first of all and about what are the things we're going to do to you know, create the positive change in our in our communities and by having those conversations and that's what I've been really inspired by Stan is that constant feedback of people of this is what the conversation is. It's not about always negative, negative, it's about actually what are the positive things and, and how can we move forward together. Last question obviously as the agenda setter, like when you wake up, what are you thinking in the morning straight away? You know, I, I'm, I'm just thinking, I, I'm thinking all the time about the world we live in, you know, I've been really privileged 
to have been at the front line of history, to be at the front line of change. You know, I've, I've walked through terrorist bombings, I've seen countries torn apart by war, I've seen the best and the worst of humanity, and I think all the time about the importance of being able to tell that story and to, and to be engaged with making our country a better country. I, I really think about that. And, you know, and I think Adam's right, you know, yes we are, there are so many things that, that, us, that remind us of where we fail. But there's a lot also to celebrate. As I said in the speech tonight, we have a better chance of being able to come together as a people in this country than just about any other place I've ever been. Yeah. It's a privilege to meet you tonight. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thanks, Adam.